So good morning and welcome back to a brand new video. It is half eight in the morning. Today I'm moving back up to college. I might hit a little session tomorrow morning. I don't really know where the video is going to go but basically what I plan to do is show you me moving back up to college, show you what accommodation I'm staying in. Um, so going to be more of a vlog style video and going to be a lot of talking rather than like cool fancy edits and just kind of being me I suppose. Um, so yeah. Stay tuned, stick around for the video. If you're not already, please subscribe. But first of all, I'm about to start off the morning like I do with the majority of other mornings, a 15 minute walk because I have a lot to do today. I also have a football match. Had one last night and I have one today. I flew in from Albafair or from Faro, like Portugal, um, yesterday, went straight to my match, like literally got the bus from Dublin Airport to Waterford. Mum collected me straight to the match and played 60 minutes of that match. Woke up this morning, it's now half eight, and I have a match at 10 o'clock. So yeah, we have a busy day ahead, my legs are gonna be very sore, and I have to drive up to Limerick tonight. All right, okay, I have just returned back from my walk. Um, I am now gonna scan my breakfast, and you're probably thinking, Sam, why are you looking so small? And I'm thinking the exact same thing, because I just came back from a lad's holiday, a week long one, if you can't already hear my voice, I'm pretty, pretty dead. Um, I won't lie to you, I drank all seven days of the holiday, which, you know, one, for weightlifting and gym progress, isn't ideal. Seven days is a lot, right? Um, two, I'm on Accutane, so I probably shouldn't be doing that, but, you know, Dermatologist said I could do it, so, you know, here we are. So, what foods did I track during the week? How did I exercise? What did I do? I tracked absolutely niche. I didn't track a single gram. I didn't track anything. Majority of meals I ate out with the lads, and it was the best week of my life. Honestly, I think that was one of the best weeks of my life. It was the best crack ever. We went to Albufeira, and it was just unreal. I wouldn't even say Albufeira was like peak time, but it was more so the group of people I was, I was with, you know, like they're eight of my closest friends. Um, and yeah, it was just, it was, it was great crack. Um, so starting college tomorrow, um, going up today. Um, so I think I'm gonna join Munster Pro. Any of the OG YouTube watchers will know that, Jim. Um, looking forward to getting back in there. The, the equipment there is very, very nice. Looking forward to get back training because I obviously didn't train at all last week. The three weeks prior to that, I was in America or like the four weeks prior, I was three weeks in America and one week back working. So like, you know, I've had a hectic, <laughs> well I say hectic, but I just mean like, I haven't been training properly for the past month. Um, anyways, gonna scram my meal one now. I have a match this morning, like I said, which I'm kind of low key dreading because my legs are quite sore. Uh, but you know, we'll see how we get on. Um, so yeah, probably will catch you after the match and when I'm packing to go up to college. Oh, all right boys. We've made it home. We've made it home. Another loss. <laughs> I only played the last like 20 minutes, but see, I had a game yesterday, so there's two football teams I'm playing with. So I'm playing with the 2B team and the Premier team. Anyone around the kind of Waterford area would understand how the leagues work. So the Premier League is like the best league in Waterford, and then the 2B team, 2B league would be like, what, like fourth best or something like that. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping to play Premier for the year, that's my plan. Um, but I had a 2B game yesterday. And I had a Premier game this morning, so my legs are in bits. But um, now I need to pack. Apologies for my voice, it's absolutely gone from all the beer in Albufeira. Um, so yeah, let's get packing. All right then, boys, welcome to Sam's studio. My bedroom. This is where I sleep, lads. I hope you would have added that up. Excuse the mess, I am only back from holidays, so last night there was beds got on the floor, or clothes on the bed, and I just took them off and went straight into bed because I'm fucking knackered. I also had a monster yesterday at like five o'clock for like before yesterday's game, and came in and couldn't sleep. So I got about seven hours sleep last night and a total of about 10 hours sleep between the six days in Portugal. So yeah, I'm in need of a good sleep, but what do we have to do now? We have to pack. I also, have to bring a bike up to college, all right, which is a bit of a shitter, because it just means I have to be that guy who's cycling along the road, which isn't really ideal, do you know what I mean? Right, because basically, yeah, story time. So I passed my driving test, yeah, about a year ago, I wanna say, um, and my sister's learning to drive, so she gets priority with the car, so I can't take it away for the week because she doesn't get to drive for the week. Does that make sense? So, yeah, basically, I have no car for, co I, have no, I, have no ca I have no car for college, so yeah, I need to be getting to the gym and all that kind of shit. Um, so unfortunately, I do need to bring a bike up. But less of that, let's pack. What do I need? 
I need jocks. Jocks and socks are always the first things I start with, right? I bring five of each because you have to prepare to shit yourself every single day. That's just, that's just the way it is. I don't actually like shit myself, but like, you know, if I'm training and shit, like I don't want to be wearing the same jocks. Do you know what I mean, man? I don't want to be wearing the same jocks. So let's get some jocks. Okay, so here are two pairs of socks, right? We've packed two pairs of socks. Bosh. Okay. I don't really know if people are going to enjoy this video. Because this is nothing gym related, but ah well, okay? One tracksuit, okay? Usually, I'm gone for the week, I like to bring two tracksuits, okay? I'll bring two tracksuits and then a pair, 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 English, a pair of like Carhartt pants. Um, they're like, I'll wear them on a night out, but I'd also wear them for a day, do you know what I mean? So I kind of get two wears out of them, which is ideal. Uh, I think I'm going to go out the Thursday, I think. Because like, it's first week back to college, you know? It's going to be a good crack. Um, the week after, I freshers as well, so... Yeah, I still have a lot of drinking to do, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be transparent on this page. I'm not going to be that guy who's going to be like, no, not going out at all this week. I'm 100% going out this week, all right? I'm going to be real. Um, first week back to college, can't wait to see all the boys, can't wait to see everyone. Uh, so, yeah, right, one pair of tracksuits, right, here's one t-shirt going in. I'd probably bring up four t-shirts. Might sound mad to some people, but, like, you have to bear in mind, man, I'm training three days a week, probably four. You know, I'll probably do a run someday. So, you know, I like to just be safe and sorry. And then at the end of the day, I'm going, I'm living up there. Do you know what I mean? So like any t-shirts I won't wear, I just leave them in the wardrobe, man. Saves you bring them up next week. Um, so like that's, I have, what? that's five t-shirts packed. But two of those are stringers. So two of those are just for the gym. So I'll probably bring up six t-shirts, to be honest. Um, no, that's mad. Six t-shirts is mad. Is it mad? Is six t-shirts mad for a week? I feel like it is mad. But that, hmm, hmm. I don't know, man. Anyways, let's move on to shorts. All right, here's one pair of shorts. I really like these shorts. These are the Nike shorts. I always train in these. They have like these knitting stuff, and I quite like it on the inside. I really like that. Um, so yeah, gonna pack these as well. Gymshark shorts, classic necessity. You know, always coming in the back, always. All right. Okay, then I have uh, more Nike shorts. Um, I don't like Nike shorts at all. Don't like them at all, lads. I extremely don't like them. So that's three pairs of shorts. So honestly, that should do me. Will it be all I bring? Probably for shorts. I'll pack two more tracksuits, or one more tracksuit and one more pair of cargos. One jock, two jock. Is this jock wearable? That jock is too big jock. Free jock. We are out of jocks. Okay, so we have, what's that? Three pairs of jock. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Four jock. Bosh. Lads. <laughs> right, so I went into the shop the other day, right? And I went looking for jocks, right? Calvin Klein jocks, because they're my favourite brand of jocks, right? I love those jocks. And um, anyways, right? <laughs> I, brought, I bought the long ones. I bought the long one. I, brought, I bought the wrong ones, and they're long ones. So that kind of went well. But look how long these are, man. Look at how long these are. Are you kidding me, bro? <laughs> like what these are gonna come down past my shorts like I can't wear these but I'll sleep in them because they're just comfy and like if I'm wearing tracks I'll wear them alright let's get on to socks one sock two sock three sock four sock five sock six seven sock eight sock nine sock ten sock eleven sock ooh I don't know if I count that one I don't know if that one's looking good there's eleven pairs of socks alright so socks are currently getting packed um, yeah, if you can't already tell, I just wear white socks, white long ones, um, just because they go with everything. Like, if I'm wearing jeans on a night out, I just wear, like, longer socks up to, like, here and just cover the jeans. Um, even when I'm in the gym, I just like wearing Nike socks. Um, so, yeah, I've spent an absolute bomb on socks, but to be honest, man, I'm glad I did because, like, I hate wearing socks I don't enjoy. Like, I might sound fucking weird for that, like, but I never wear ankle socks. I don't like wearing them because I just don't think they look... They look normal on me, like I feel like they look weird on me. I don't know why I brought these, bought these, but they're class. And um, they're really nice. I really like iron socks. Like, don't even lie, like they're they're nice socks, you know what I mean, man? They're nice socks. Um Alright, this is the t-shirt I'm gonna wear on a night out. Um it's just like a Nike t-shirt. It's just I don't know, it's, it's just one of my favourite ones. Um goes with kind of everything. I don't know, I think it's quite nice. Um Okay, this hoodie, Dragon's Air hoodie, I'm probably gonna wear this up. I'll always bring up two hoodies um, and one jumper. It sounds crazy, but you know, like I'll wear one of those hoodies in the gym, so I don't really wanna be wearing those out. Do you know what I mean? I don't wanna be wearing those to college and stuff, because I'll fucking stink in them. So this is my dedicated, sorry, no, this won't be my ded dedicated gym hoodie. Um, I'll be wearing this tonight because it's just fresh. I'll wear that going up. Um, my dedicated gym hoodie then is gonna be this Gymshark hoodie. 
Um, it's just a classic. Uh, you've probably seen me wear it loads. Pretty run down hoodie, but you know it goes well. It's black, um, and who doesn't like wearing a black hoodie when you're in the gym? Do you know what I mean? It's a classic. All right, these are the other tracksuit pants I'm gonna bring up. These are pretty basic. It's just from Boohoo Man. Um, it says Hom, Hom, which I'm pretty sure is man in French. I think I did do French for leaving search, so I should really know, but I don't really, to be honest. These fit quite well. They like come in at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, yeah, Boohoo Man. These are unreal. They're like I'm pretty sure they were like eight euro or something. I'm gonna bring up this kind of uh, varsity um, hangover top. I think I don't know what you call it, but yeah, I'll give you a little show. So it's like this, uh, like this. Goes well with kind of everything, like I'll wear grey pants with this and some white shoes. Goes kind of well, I like to think. Um, I got this in New York. Honestly, up there with one of my favourite pieces of clothing. Like I genuinely just love it. Um, I spent a bomb on this, like, you do not want to know how much I spent on it. But, you know, I'm a big believer in like, fuck it, money comes back, do you know what I mean, man? I have this bucket full of clothes that have just came out of the wash. So these are going to be added. Uh, jumper, then this is the jumper I'm bringing up. It's one of my favorite jumpers, man. It's like a, a retro vintage Nike jumper. I picked it up um, in Wack Vintage pop-up store. Wack Vintage. Um, Oshin Fahi set up that as far as I'm aware. Maybe him and one or two mates. Um, I'll leave their Instagram like somewhere up here. Wack Vintage. They Their clothes are fucking epic. Um, they did like a pop-up store down in college one day and it was mobbed. It was so good. Um, so yeah, I picked up this and like another jumper I have in my wardrobe. Um, but yeah, this is definitely my favourite jumper. Uh, vintage Nike one. Um, okay, I think we're out of room. Okay, right. That bag is done bag number two but okay then the pants i am going for this night out week this week this night out i'm going on this week all right just these like carhartt pants um i'm a big fan of carhartt i think this stuff is really nice oh so, yeah that's what i'm rocking with this white tee and some new balance shoes where did i put my belt oh no where's my belt is my belt over here oh no no belt oh no no i need a belt oh no still no belt Oh man, where did I put my belt like? We are back. I have found my belt. It was in my sock drawer, which is where I always leave it. I just didn't look hard enough the first time. So yeah, nice one, Sam. Uh, I have cologne as well. I spent a fucking bomb on this. It is uh, definitely my favorite. Um, so I'll show you now. Will this focus? Will it not? I don't really know. Um, it is Invictus Paco Rabanne. Um, Honestly, so good, man. Like, I don't think I'm for a toothbrush. Oh my god. Hold on. Bosh. Okay, toothbrush. I don't have toothpaste, so I'll be robbing the roommates, um, or else I'll buy some up there. So, yeah, that is my wash bag. So, that's going in here. This is what I edit all those phenomenal YouTube videos you watch on. I edit them all on this. Um, I need to charge this now before I go. So, I'm going to plug this in. Um, and yeah, that's kind of the crack. I'll probably just throw this in my bag, actually, because I know if I charge it, I'll forget it. Um, so, yeah, I think that's everything. Uh, yeah, all right, there's a few other essentials I need to put into the car. So I need to put in monsters, I need to put grenade protein bars, and other, like, essential stuff. <sighs> washing up liquid. Not washing up liquid. I mean washing your body liquid. Head and shoulders, all right? It's just the goat, man. I was very close to messing up. I forgot all my chargers and my laptop, so I need to pack those now. I'm gonna bring up my brother's cool camp bag. Um, I just don't have another one, and I'm not. Well, I probably do, but I am really not bothered looking for it, man. Then, also, right, call me a psycho, but I am one of those guys, right? You know when you wake up in the morning, you're looking for a lie on, and you have terrible blinds? One of these things, right, a little eye mask, right? Game changers, okay? Get on them if you're not already. Also, little earmuffs, okay? So, so good. Like, if you're living with guys, or you're sharing a room with someone, and they snore, Man, get on these. They've changed my sleep, man. They are so good. Um, so they're two little minor things. Now, a lot of people won't need them, but I'm just a, I'm just an overreactor, really. Um, so, yeah, all of these packed. Uh, I'm going to show these in here. And then, boys, after a long, long hassle of getting the bike into the car, we eventually made it. It is now time to put all my other stuff in. One bag. This is for the tire pressure in the car. This needs to go in. Suppose I need the other tire. I'll put this in the front seat. Ooh, is there going to be room in the front seat? Nope, no room in the front seat. Okay, hold on. 
show her. We're in there. Okay. Tires packed. Leave this in the front seat. Bin bags, obviously essentials. Gonna need to use the bin. My laptop bag. I'm gonna put this towards the front because I don't want anything happening to that. Kitchen foil. I mean, who doesn't need that, right? A brush for cleaning dishes. Monsters, all 12 of them, because I have a crippling addiction. A porridge bowl bucket of rice, because I'm gonna eat every bit of it. Okay, big bag and slot just in here. Oreo grenade bars, obviously quite essential too. Okay, then we have fairy washing up liquid. I don't know why these have been packed, but... Okay, toilet paper. Heaps of it. Heaps of toilet paper. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Washing up sponges. <laughs> okay, and some pasta. Bosh. Oh yeah, WD-40 for the tires as well. All right, that's us packed. Let's get in the car and drive to Limerick. All right, boys, we have made it. Joining me, joining me in the passenger seat is duvet, pillow, camera bag. Right behind me then, the lads are in the back, so we've got the bike, multiple bags. We've got a weighing scales down there with some squares bars. And yeah, we are ready to fucking, oh, I'm in the toilet paper, all boys. We are ready to go, so yeah, catch you up in Limerick. All right, boys, we've landed in paradise. Paradise, paradise, look at these views, lads, look, look, look. Fucking hell, mate. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Anyways, um, yeah, I guess, who wants a room tour? I'm gonna show you the room, lads, right, ready? Actually, I'm gonna give you a little house door first, right, so, come in this door, right, this is the front door, right, this is the gaff, Bosh, okay, and um, this is like a little storage room, okay, we've got a bathroom, all right, all right, a little bathroom, going lots, all right, and then we come into the kitchen, this is huge, man, like, this is actually really big, all right, which is pretty fucking sick, got the PlayStation, oh, all right, then we come into my room, which I'm going to show you now, all right, flip this around, all right, come in. Here we are. It's pretty chill. Got a single bed, but um, and then I have this mirror, which is nice. Um, I have a wardrobe, which is pretty sick. So yeah, all in all, man, I'm fucking happy. I think I think this is pretty sick. Um, you know, I'm just getting set up now, getting settled in, and the two boys are fucking well. I know the two boys. Like I knew I was gonna get along with them. Um, so yeah, fucking so happy, man. To be honest, couldn't be happier with how. How, how lucky I've gotten, you know? So that's gonna be a wrap on this video. I was gonna leave in a few training clips, but at the end of the day, this is a YouTube channel, you know? I think I get to decide what I want to post. And you know, I enjoyed making this, man. You know, I enjoy branching out from just doing gym content. So, I hope you did enjoy this video. Obviously, it's a different style of video. I don't expect it to be amazing. But if you did enjoy it, could you please let me know in the comments? Because if you did, I might just keep doing kind of outside of the gym vlogs. You can kind of get to know me and my life a bit more. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave this here. If you did enjoy the video, please do like, please do subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video.